Well, it is the largest cruise ship ever built and it's finally ready to set sail. The icons of the seas is five times the tonnage of Titanic with rooms for almost 10,000 passengers, yes, 10,000 and crew, and it's take in cruising world by storm. A skyscraper on the high seas, towering over the cruise ship capital Miami. This is the icon of the seas in all her glory. Capable of carrying almost 10,000 passengers and crew, this big beauty is breaking all the records. At 365 metres long, the mega ship is five times the size of the Titanic and packed full of fun. There are 20 decks, seven swimming pools, nine whirlpools and even a water park. There are also eight neighbourhoods, an ice rink, a state-of-the-art theatre, it really is a city on the sea. The icon marks the beginning of a post-COVID comeback for the cruise ship industry. And the first day of ticket sales was Royal Caribbean's biggest booking day in its 53-year history. If you're looking to jump on board, prices start at $3,000 per person for a week-long trip, which includes a visit to a private island in the Bahamas. Wow. Well, joining us fresh from her trip, one of the first passengers on Icon of the Seas, Cece Bankston. Good morning to you. Tell us how special Good this morning. was to get a sneak peek of the ship before everyone else was on it, because Australians are big cruisers. Mm. We want to hear this. Good morning, Matt and Lad. It was amazing. So uh, Royal Caribbean does three test cruises and it's usually influencers, travel agents, uh, VIPs. And so we're kind of like the test dummies for the cruise. But it was a uh, I got it in fight and I was like, I cannot pass up this experience. And it was amazing. Uh, the ship is huge, yeah. but it's uh, the, it has a lot of space. It, they took what works for Royal Caribbean and just gave it a bigger space. And it, it was just amazing. Everyone was just wild about it, just wild. Aside from the great view from pretty much every angle, Cece, does it feel like you're even on a ship? You know, actually it don't. You know you're getting on a ship and it definitely feels like a ship, but after a while, it feels like you're at an all-inclusive resort, actually. Uh, you just lose the whole sense of being on the ship. You definitely don't feel it at all. And then they, they have these different neighborhoods. And as you go into each neighborhood, it's like a different experience on the ship. And you really wouldn't feel like you're on the ship until you're actually out in the open area and you can see the water. Mm -hmm. But it feels like a destination in itself on a cruise ship and a more of an all-inclusive experience. Right, so 40 restaurants or seven or something swimming pools. We're looking at the shots now. Did you get around everything and do you think it's worth it, worth the money? Um, yes, I did get around to all eight neighbourhoods. Um, and as for the money, so when you're cruising on a new ship or any cruise line, they're going to have premium pricing. And premium pricing is usually 20 to 50% markup. So that's not unusual. Now the icon gives you your money's worth and more. Now it may not be for everyone. Everyone may not like huge ships, but for this one, I thought that Royal Caribbean knocked it out the park. Mm. Uh, they took what Oasis class was, which was with their they make great off of Oasis and they just made it better. And the money they put into it, the innovation, the entertainment, the food is very much so worth the price and mm. after a while it will with inflation it will oh, uh, down. but right now mm. yes it is quite expensive but the experience just. is okay. just yeah, great. Enormous. Looking at those people on the on the top deck there, they yeah. look like tiny little ants. Yeah. CC Banks and thanks yeah. so much for that review. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on the show.